Hello, welcome to the series of tutorials on developing Blazor WebAssembly apps with Radzin. My name is Benjamin Fadina. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to start Radzin. And then I'll go to new application. And this time around, I'm going to select client side web assembly. I'm going to give the name of C C A app. Now I'm going to choose a directory for the app. So after that, I'll click create. So after clicking create the next thing i'm going to do is is i'll close this dialog i'm going to create a new page which is going to be an empty page and i'll click next uh, let me just make it start page page name of the page will be home page now uh, I'll click save. I'm also including it in navigation and I click save. After that, I will click run. So here is the generated app after it has started. Now the next business I'm going to take care of is to create the application database. So I'm going to go to services. And the SQL Server instance that I want to use, whose name is Tibokonlua, I've confirmed that it's running. So the next piece of business for me is to go to Radzin, stop my app for now. Then I'm going to start management studio. So I, do, I click on management studio to start it. So now I'm going to enter my login credentials for SQL Server Management Studio. I'll say remember password. I'll click connect. Now I'll go I'll right click on database. This folder, then I will say new database. Uh, C A app basic div. That's the name of the database. I'm going to make the owner BRC. I click OK. Then I go to database folder. So 
to help see how to use TB. Then I'll go to back to my hub. I'll go to data. I'll click on new name of my data source. My data source is SQL Server, MS SQL Server. Name of my data source is Condata. The SQL Server instance is dot slash info call lower. My database name is, and I click on this, I say rename. Then I click and say copy. So my database name is CA basic TV. User SA password. Password. After that, I'll click on Infer Schema. Need to select all these three. And for now, I'll say finish. I'll go to my applications. I'll click on CA Hub again. I'll go to security. The provider will be default. And I'm going to say auto generate pages for user role auto generate pages for user and role management select data source data source will become data layout is main and login layout is login after that i'll click save now i'm going to run the generated app again i click run So I'm getting this error, the type of namespace on data does not exist in the namespace. So for now, let me click stop. I'm going to import a table into the database. So I click on the database. So I'll right click on it, say task, say import data. I'll click on next. Select the source from which to copy data. Open the drop down of CSQL server native client zero. My server name is dot slash ifadina. So my database is my server name is dot slash if you call lower. Okay, so let me expand this a bit. So let me, the server name here will be dot slash bfadina. Going to use SQL Server Authentication, username as a password. Type in my password. Now I'm going to pick the database I'm going to import data from. Database I'm going to import data from is this. Click next. Where am I copying data to? Destination SQL Server Native Client 11. Server name dot slash Colua. 
using SQL Server Authentication. And the database is CA Hub Basic DB. I click Next. So I'm copying data from one or multiple of views. I click Next. And I'm copying from country stable. So create a new country stable. Let's look at edit mappings. Let's look at preview. What is the preview? Say next. Say next. And I say finish. So 227 rows transferred. So I open this database, I open tables folder, then I right click on the countries table, I go to design, I right click on country ID, set it as primary key, country name I'm not going to allow no. And from the country ID field, I'm going to make it identity. So I save the country stable. Now I go back to my hub. I go to data, go to con data, infra schema. This time around, I pick tables, views, and stored procedures. So under DBO, I have the country's table. I'm going to say auto-generate pages for crowd operations. And my date format will be DD, MM, YYY. And I'm also going to say enable exports to Excel and CSV enable such as you type. I will leave other options the way they are. Then I will say finish. And I go to my applications again. Open CA Hub. And I'll tell the Hub to run. So folks, here is the generated application. I'm going to log in for now with the username of admin and password of admin. Note that you use this while you are still in development mode. And I'll click on login. So now you have two pages in the application. You have the blank home page and you have the countries page. Example, I can search for Nigeria here. See, I'm searching for Nigeria. And then you want to delete, you have a confirm delete dialog. And then you can sign out by going here and select clicking on logout. So, folks, this is the end of lesson one. Thank you for watching.